Hello, I'm Keith Clark. Our Lenten reading for today is from the Gospel of John, chapter 4. Jesus' encounter with the Samaritan woman, otherwise known as the woman at the well. I suggest that you pause this video for a bit and get a Bible and open it to John, chapter 4, and we'll look at this passage together. There's a tremendous amount that we can learn from this passage. We couldn't possibly cover it in one minute, or even one sermon. So I'll just give a few headline comments, and you can flesh them out as you read the passage carefully and prayerfully during the day. This event is a good example of Jesus' response to human need and a pattern for evangelism. Here are some points that arise from this passage. Jesus shows his humanity, verse 6. He was tired. He was thirsty. He experienced human life to the full. Jesus breaks with custom, verse 7. He asks help from a Samaritan woman. Jews avoided Samaritans. They despised them, but not Jesus. He initiated personal contact with this woman. Males did not talk with females in public, even with members of their own family, but not Jesus. He talked openly and freely with her. Jesus gains the woman's interest, verse 10. He arouses curiosity and hints at another level of need beyond the mere physical. Jesus offers inner renewal, verses 13 and 14. A spring of water welling up to eternal life. Jesus uncovers the woman's need, verses 16 and 17. He does not overwhelm her with a sense of guilt without showing that he understands and he cares. Jesus reveals his identity, verse 26. In response to the woman's comments about the Messiah, Jesus states openly, I who speak to you am he. And finally, the result, verses 39 to 42, new life for the woman. Her life is turned around. The social outcasts who sought solitude in her daily chores now seeks the people she was avoiding and gives simple testimony about her encounter with Jesus. And the people respond, not because of what she has told them, they said, but because they encounter Jesus for themselves. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for this example of your care for all people, regardless of their background, gender and nationality. We thank you for the courtesy and respect you showed this woman. And we thank you for the way she was able to lead others to you so soon after she met you herself. May your example inspire and encourage us in our dealings with others, that they too may come to know you as the one who cares for them and seeks to give them a new life, now and for all eternity. Amen.